Hi everyone, welcome back to Staffordshire Car Care. We're kickstarting this week with a very busy studio. Stick around and we'll show you what's coming in and we'll be answering your questions. Okay, so you're picking up your brand new car, you've collected it, you've took the car home and you've washed it a handful of times and you've noticed a few little marks appearing that you didn't notice on the day of collection. Now it's all very exciting picking up the car, it's all very overwhelming. Now obviously when you get the car home and you start to get hands on and familiar with the car, you may notice things that you didn't notice that were actually there at the time of collection. On this occasion we have a little small defect on the uh, driver's side rear door and it's a tiny little hair as you can see in this clip. So what to do when you find a situation where you've got contaminants or marks on your paint? Contact the dealership immediately, find out what their solution is. They may need to, or may suggest in painting the door, which would then lead to painting the adjacent panels to blend the color in, which is quite drastic based on such a small hair. You could wet sand it, which then you'd need to find out how far you can go before the hair is removed, before you breach into the base coat which then inevitably would need paint in any way. So on this occasion, we're leaving it. The consequences of repairing are far too great based on such a small mark. But if you are in this situation, contact your dealership and just talk them through your situation. And then if you need professional support, there are detailers all around the world and paint specialists, body shops, things of that nature that will help you. So I hope that answers the question on this particular issue. And let's lead on to another question. As you can see on the Porsche 911, when you look inside the door shuts and the door rubbers and inside the nooks and crannies, you can see little white dots. Those dots are caused by the rotation of the machine polisher going round and flicking out compound. We'll solve this with Gion APC. We'll pre-soak the area, brush in if necessary, and then use the pressure washer to rinse away. Hey Martin. Yes, Craig. Is it bare? Grills. <laughs> Grill? Yeah. The Range Rover Velar is now completed after its ceramic coatings to the paint and wheels. If you are looking for something along that kind of nature, head over to our website www.staffordshirecarcare.co.uk and we'll send you a proposal. The Porsche 911 997 has been finished in this gorgeous colour, two-stage machine polish and Gion Q2 Infinite base type one has been applied to this absolutely gorgeous coating it looks super glossy wheels have been removed they've recently been referred so they look brand new and the ceramic coating q2 rim has been applied to the wheels and calipers hubs and we put trim on the wheel arches too so this looks absolutely wonderful the customer is just about to turn up now so we're going to show you some clips of what this car looks like now it's been completed So both of these vehicles, the BMW M4 and the Tesla Model 3, are both having paint protection film applied to the front end. Uh, this Tesla Model 3 will have the PPF on the bonnet and the front bumper, sills and rear bumper splashes and wing mirrors. The M4 bonnet, front bumper, wings, sills and rear bumper splashes too, as well as the wing mirrors going to help these cars in terms of impact damage, small stone chips to the front end and just general road rushing as the wheels rotate on a daily basis. So, quick clips of these two uh, vehicles being installed with PPF and then very soon we'll show you what these results look like.
Well, that's close. This gorgeous BMW M4 has been with us now for a couple of three days and has had a single stage machine polish. It has had to be ramped up slightly into a two stage in some areas just because as typically the lower halves we do find that previous owners or the owner of vehicles are not taking in consideration the dirt buildup and residue on the lower halves of the car that are not rinsed away or pre-soaked properly with a product to soften those dirts down to pressure washer away and then follow up with your wash mitt. Now, paint protection film wasn't on our top of the list of protection and services that we would offer four or five years ago. When it was first brought to my attention, I was like, why spend many, many hours machine polishing the car and then put this inferior material on top, which then distorted its clarity, made the car look a bit dull and a bit plasticky. Yes, obviously the intentions are there to protect against the paint and all the benefits from there, but aesthetically couldn't really get excited about it. However, since the launch of Gion PPF and when it was introduced to us about three years ago, we've been super excited on the basis that we can now machine polish the vehicle, add a protection material on top and have no distinctive difference between film and paint. It is very difficult to see. So that's a bonus there, and now we can offer a multitude of services, i.e. the ceramic coatings and the paint protection film, amongst machine polishing and interior protection. Now Greg has been ploughing through the hours of machine polishing this car, masking up delicate areas, and as you can see, there are a few little pointers around the car marked by blue tape. This is just to bring the attention to the small area and remind us that those things need attention. Now to make our work nice and tidy, we plough through the larger surface areas with large machine polishers, rotary or dual action polishers, and then we pop those away and then we bring out the smaller sections and concentrate on the more to harder to reach areas, and then we downscale even further to very, very small pads and very intricate work, and that's where the blue tape markers come in. It just brings the whole project together and makes a nice consistent finish ready for ceramic coatings. Here we are getting the Tesla Model 3 prepared and ready for its machine polish and ceramic coating treatment, including power protection film. As you can see, we've used Q2 iron to spray on the surface of the paint to react with the oxide of the ferrous material stuck to the surface of the paint. The Gion iron will react with the oxide, loosening off the ferrous, the iron or the metal uh, deposits from your brake dust or other people's brake dust or even something that's landed atmospherically. It will loosen up the oxide, breaking free the contaminant and then when you rinse off the product away, it should take those contaminants with it. It's a crucial part of the decontamination process to ensure that the car is nice and clean. We do not want to take the car inside, start machine polishing and the machine polishing pad start grabbing those contaminants otherwise have should have been removed and start rotating around the surface of the paint. That is essentially going to bring more damage to the paint than required. So make sure the surface is nice and clean as the best you can. Don't forget to bring out the clay bar just in case there's some contaminants still on the surface, but making sure that surface is nice and clean before any machine polishing. The Tesla Model 3 unfortunately suffered a very small stone chip to the front bumper. We sourced the paint, we touched in the area and then applied paint protection film on top. That problem was solved but does show the importance of having protection film on your car. So the customer was super happy, emailed us to say thank you very much. Welcome to what is a busy and noisy Wednesday afternoon. We have the Tesla Model 3 now ready and completed for when the customer arrives in just a few hours time. So some final checks to do as per usual. What have we done to this car? We've carried out a single stage machine polish, which is part of the new car preparation uh, treatment, PPF to the bonnet and the front bumper sills and rear bumper splashes and wing mirrors. We've also carried out a ceramic coating to the paint and glass re repellent. 
uh, which helps water cascade up the front, front screen and allows for a nice, easy, safe drive in poor weather without the frantic wipers going off ten to the dozen. So I'll introduce you to the final shots of this car completed and then we'll say goodbye to this car very, very soon. Um, stick around and we'll have some final results of the BMW M4 also having a few treatments with us this week. Uh, stick around. question we had was can we talk about Gion APC? Yes, no problem. It is an all-purpose cleaner and it can be diluted 1 to 15 for your interior, for stubborn marks on your plastic trim etc. And it can be diluted 1 to 5 for exterior usage such as wheel arches and engine bays. We're going to quickly show you how to use it on a very dirty Ford Ranger wheel arch outside right now. So here we are using Gion APC in the wheel arches, spraying plenty in there to leave the soak for about 30 seconds. We'll then agitate it with a brush and then rinse away. We'll final check with a microfiber towel just to make sure everything's nice and clean. If for instance your wheel arches do not come clean on the first go, try once again. You just must have real dirty wheel arches. So that is an example of using APC on this dirty wheel arch. We'll show you the after shots of what that looks like, including the engine bay too. The BMW M8 is here for its health check, having its ceramic coating and PPF checked over and credit to the owner who's been looking after this car very, very well since its initial treatment back in December. We'll show you some final shots of what this car looks like now. We're noticing fewer people requesting alloy wheel protection to be applied on electric vehicles. We want to know what you think. Is there more brake dust on an internal combustion engine car or an electric car? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. The brand new Tesla Model 3 in blue having a ceramic coating applied to the paint. Gion Mose Evo for this car. Also paint protection film has been applied to the bonnet, the wings, the front bumper, mirrors and sills. Stick around and we'll show you what this car looks like when it is completed. Greg's usual position on his phone, not doing much. Show us your cup. Oh. After four days of uh, preparation, machine polishing, interior cleaning, glass cleaning, wheel cleaning, coating, you name it. This BMW M4 looks awesome. We'll go through some shots showing you what this car looks like now it's completed and I'll quickly run through what it's had. One stage machine polish, paint protection film to the bonnet from bumper, wings, sills, wheels removed, they have been coated in Q2 rim, the wheel arches in Q2 trim, also the interior, leather coat and fabric coat and Mose Evo to the paint. Here are some shots of what the car looks like. Now it's been completed.
Tesla Model 3 has now been completed after its new car paint protection treatment, ceramic coatings to the paint and paint protection film to the front end. Here is what the car looks like now it's been finished. Here we are, we've arrived at the end of a busy week. Thank you ever so much for watching. Thank you for the customers who have come to visit this week. Don't forget to subscribe, tap the icon button to be notified when our next video is uploaded. Also, keep a lookout for the Porsche Boxster video. That'll be uploaded very, very soon. Thank you very much once again, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.